This is Behind the Kit. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the premiere episode of Behind the Kit. I'm Doug Miola. I'm going to be your host for this segment of the show. Really looking forward to the great drummers that Joe has in store for us tonight. Man, what a killer show we have coming up tonight, and I'm really looking forward to hearing what these guys have to say. Should be a great night of drums and drumming all around. For tonight's Behind the Kit, we're going to dive into some drum tuning information. We've received a number of inquiries regarding drum tuning, how to approach drum tuning, do's and don'ts, what works best. So we're going to get into some generalities about tuning tonight. It's such a broad uh, topic to cover. Uh, we want to make sure that we do a great job of bringing thorough information and correct information to you. Of course, some drummers refer to tuning as tensioning. I'm going to use them interchangeably here, but I know people like Buddy Rich were big proponents of calling drum tuning drum tensioning. So we're going to be diving into a lot of these different areas, but tonight we're going to start with more or less the basics of drum tuning and tensioning, what happens when we put drum heads on shells and tighten them up. Uh, just to get everybody on the same page with some of the basics, of course, if you ask 10 different drummers how they tune their drums, you're going to get 10 different answers, right? So we're going to stick to more of the technical things here, the physical things that happen when we put drum heads on shells and tune or tension them. Uh, some of the basic things that uh, will happen based on how you tension your heads and the effects that those produce. We know that every drum or shell produces a particular note based on its size and dimensions. We also talk a lot about fundamental pitch of a drum when we're dealing with drum tuning. The fundamental pitch of a drum is basically going to be the lowest note that that drum will produce. So from there you're going to have a basic frequency range or tuning range to work with based on how you tension the top batter head or the bottom the resonant head and this is where it gets very personal. There are probably an infinite number of combinations of tensioning the bottom and the top head in combinations to get a particular sound from each shell. So we're going to get into more specifics about those details in future episodes because that does get very personal. But the next thing I want to get into is some facts of general ways to approach this and what those uh, will produce as far as sounds for your drums. There are three basic ways to approach tensioning or tuning your drums and they all center largely on the lug frequency relationship that the top and the bottom head have. So based on how much resonance, how much attack you want to get out of your shell, you have to consider the relationship between the bottom lug frequencies and the top lug frequencies of each shell that you're tuning. So basically what you want to consider is how much resonance or how much attack you want to have coming out of each of your drums and then tune or tension the heads based on that criteria. If you're looking for maximum resonance from your drum and you want a slow decay of your tone, basically what you want to do is you want to tune the top head and the bottom head to the same pitch which will basically put the drum in tune with itself and produce the biggest, most round, most resonant sound for that drum. If you're looking to get more of a medium resonance from your drums with a little more attack and a little quicker decay, you can tune the bottom head higher than the, the top head. This is going to give you an upward pitch bend. It will help you to control the resonance and to give you a little more attack, a little less decay. And finally, if you really want to maximize the attack of your drums, you can tune the top head higher than the bottom or resonant head. This is going to give you much less resonance and decay in tone, but really maximize the attack and the control of the sound of your drum. It's also going to produce a downward pitch bend, giving you uh, that clarity and that focus if you're looking for a lot less resonance coming out of your shells. Hopefully this gives you a good starting point and basis for approaching drum tuning and drum tensioning. 
Of course, as we go into future episodes, we'll get into more details and specifics about tuning kick drums and snare drums and toms. And of course, we'll talk a little bit more about how different shell materials and different drum heads will affect your drum sound and your tuning as well. We have a lot of great stuff planned for future episodes of Behind the Kit, but I'm just really excited to be a part of Around the Kit and working with Joe on the show. I'm a huge fan and uh, I know Joe has a lot of great passion. I'm really excited to be a part of it. And I want to thank everyone for your support and for listening. Hope that you have a great night and enjoy the rest of the interviews on tonight's show. Have a great night and we'll see you next week.